Most do-it-yourselfers can buy a small paint sprayer like this. I would suggest you buy one with wheels and that uh, is strong enough to do what you want to do. This is not an industrial sprayer, which means it doesn't have the high performance parts to keep on cleaning and going and going through hundreds and hundreds of gallons of paint. Remember that all paint, in reality, no matter what it is, is a liquid and various ground up pieces of pigment. And that pigment is basically sand. Or you could call it dirt if you want to. The point I'm making is that in your spray deal, the little tip in the bottom there, and this is, um, I'll, put a, I'll put it in with paint thinner. Now I have paint thinner in here, and I have oil in the gun, and I'm, I didn't clean it because I'm gonna use it today. And if, as long as you keep a wet rag over it, you should be fine. I have two more gallons. But for, as far as painting fences, this is a really good thing to do. Like I said, and like a friend of mine from Australia, a good mate, Wesley, who's an excellent painter, stated that it's not wise to mix oil and latex-based paints in the same machine. I fully agree with that. That's why this one is really old, and I'm using it. Now, what I've done is I've given... This one I hand rolled, but I've given each of these panels two good coats on one side. I had a helper flip, flip them over, and I gave them two good coats on the other side. Now, if you want to know what it took, and some people will absolutely flip out, it took me one gallon per, one gallon per fence thing and the reason for this is that I want these this fence this bare wood fence to last 10 years before I got to mess with it instead of two years doing a half-ass job and the water creeps in now what I like to do is I like to think like rain and water gets into everything water is going to hit the top here the most and then it's going to come down here and it's going to drop down into there then it's going to get behind things I know that's going to happen. That's no problem. So I get it as well as I can, plus the bottom. And one thing I want, to, I want to show you about a good paint job is that you should put on about three millimeters. I put on four because that's the way I like to do it. If you put on a, a good paint job, it will have a kind of a, a plastic sheen to it. And you can tell it's on there really thick. And that's good. And this is primer. I could put paint on after it, after it, but primer is good enough because it's just going to be a shield. Then I'll do the other two right now today, and then I'll show you how to clean the machine. But this is uh, for do it your do it, home do it yourselfers that want to buy fence and paint it. Remember that. These are bare wood. They have a die on the outside wood here, and they also have a die on the inside, but it's not a protectorant at all. If you leave these outside for a year and a half, what'll happen is this, and you can look all around the cities and see it, is the top part here will remain brown, but from here on down, it will turn a gray color because the water is ruining it. After it turns gray, what happens is these um, um, panels right here will start to pop in and out, in and out, because they start shrinking. So anyone that's, that's going to do this at home, get yourself some oil primer. You can either get a roller, like I have over here. You can do it by hand, let the kids do it, it's fun. This is a four inch rag doll, right here. These are always fun to use. As soon as you get done with the rollers, you throw them away. You don't clean them. It, you, or you can use a cheap brush. As soon as you get done with a cheap brush, you throw it away. 
Okay, next part.